The junior faculty program really came at a critical time for all of us. Uh, it was about the time when most of us had been into our labs a couple of years after starting our labs, and it really allowed us to run with some of the projects that we thought were really promising, but that none of us had actual funding to pursue on our own. And that has really led to, personally for my lab, we've been able to pursue this line of study that I've never worked on before and that has really opened up a whole new door for my lab. But now um, we have a paper uh, coming out soon and we're now applying for other grants that hopefully will allow us to continue this area of research. I think another key aspect of the junior faculty program is that it was more than just allowing us to do a project that we didn't have current funding for. It really funds the kind of projects that no other foundation would want to fund at this time. They're very early stage or exciting new ideas and we haven't proven yet that they work. So it gives us the chance to really try them out and I think we've all made some really important advances because of that. The project that we developed was around tissue regeneration um, and how um, signaling pathways um, uh, help r regulate the regeneration in the various tissues. And because each of us come at this question with a different tissue in mind, um, we have been able to understand how different systems work and how different systems work in a similar way or in a different way. Um, we, uh, as it turns out, have overlapping interests in certain pathways and divergent interests in certain pathways. And as we have listened to each other's presentations, we've gotten greater understanding about how these other pathways work, uh, which has encouraged uh, many of us to actually look at those new pathways in our own systems. And it's led to uh, intriguing new observations. So um, I think what it's done is it's allowed the work to progress more quickly, but it's really opened up new questions for many of us that we hadn't had before. We have regulators um, that, that uh, affect stem cell formation or stem cell growth, not just in one organ or two organs, but that might apply to many other organs and therefore can be used in, in the regeneration or regrowth and repair of, or, of organs in, of different kinds in different settings. And that is really what our, our group wants to harness and uh, is about that we bring together people that have expertise in uh, both different organs and also different model systems. Um, sometimes as scientists, you know, we get a little too close to the forest to see the trees and you think only about your own tissue of interest. And in doing so, maybe that's why oftentimes it's so slow to go from the bench to the bedside, that maybe you're not kind of uh, allowing yourself to see what your neighbor or the guy in the building across the street or the person at the other conference is doing because you're like, oh, that's in neural tissue and I work on blood. And so we thought that by putting together this group of people and trying to find not the specific factors that make blood do what blood does and liver do what liver does, but find the, the general pathways that we could come up with things that if they worked in my system, they might work in your system and, and really be applicable in a number of areas. The Harvard Stem Cell Institute has provided me um, with a really important opportunity to um, generate critical preliminary data that's allowed me to apply for other grants. And uh, even in the short amount of time that we've had this junior faculty grant, um, we've been able to generate significant uh, data which has allowed us to apply for three new grants, uh, two of which we've already gotten. A lot of us have been thinking about how can we launch other research programs for the HSCI or just as a group on our own because we've generally just gotten to know each other and enjoy working together. So we're now trying to decide what are the most pressing questions that we want to ask in stem cells today and how can we take our expertise and keep working together in some way.